Uh, Matthew told me to speak up because I don't have a microphone, so I decided just to come up. I like to be the center of attention anytime I can. Uh, next week is our fellowship trip to Keeneland. I would encourage you. This is really the race to the finish line. Inside your bulletin, once again, is a sign-up sheet if you want to go. I would encourage you to do so. You know, a church is, has a, I mean, we all have a church family and we have our families. And in order to grow our church family, we need to participate in these fellowship opportunities. And I would like for you to seriously consider going next week. And if you can't make a commitment today, look at your schedule tomorrow. Give me a call. Uh, we have uh, 21 tickets sold out of 30 tickets that we purchased. Uh, for those who are going, the, bu the bus is going to leave here at 8.30 a.m. next Saturday. So I would encourage you to leave home at 8 o'clock, be down here about a quarter after 8, and then we'll get on the bus at approximately 8.30 and we'll be gone. Uh, it'll be a great trip. There's 10 races. The first race begins at 12.05 our time. The last race ends at approximately 5 our time. We'll get back on the bus around 5.30 and then we'll uh, be back in Bowling Green by 8 o'clock. Uh, in regards to football games, there is no U.K. football game next Saturday. Uh, there is no Western Kentucky football game next Saturday. Both teams actually play Thursday night on national television, so watch, watch your favorite team. So please consider going with us on this fellowship opportunity. This really is the last opportunity for, for you to sign up. Thanks.
God is calling us to worship. Let us approach God's throne of grace with boldness. We will receive mercy and find grace in our time of need. Our need for forgiveness is met with great sympathy. The letter to the Hebrews says, We do not have a Savior who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace boldly, that we may find mercy. Let us confess our sin using the prayer printed in the order of service. Loving God, we take comfort in the perfection of Christ who was tested in every respect as we are, but without sin. In our imperfect lives, we are glad to belong to him. We are hopeful that we may become better people as we try to live as Christ has called us to live. We do not overestimate our own goodness, but rejoice that by baptism we belong to a Savior. We seek his grace and mercy now.
is in a position to condemn. Only Christ, and Christ died for us. Christ rose for us. Christ reigns in power for us. Christ prays for us. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. Know that you are forgiven and be at peace. Since God has forgiven us in Christ, let us forgive one another. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And let us share that peace with those around us. such a wonderful day and such a special day, and today is the day of the baptism of Jacob Curtis, Quinn Catherine, and Andrew Marshall Ellington, uh, children of Aaron and Marshall Ellington of our congregation, and uh, grandchildren uh, of Curtis and Andy uh, Long of our congregation, and Curtis Long will be serving as the elder at the font, and now I said family to come forward. Also, big sister Claire, if you would join us at the front of the church. <laughs> Beloved in Christ, baptism is a sacrament which has been given to the church by our Lord Jesus Christ, and it is a sign and a seal to us uh, over God's blessing and an encouragement that we belong to God and are, are filled by that covenant promise. Uh, baptism is intended not just for believers, but also for their children to show forth their place in the household of faith and the covenant community. I'll ask you these simple questions, Marshall, Aaron. Do you acknowledge your own faith in Christ and there in desire to consecrate your children to Christ, do you? And do you promise to instruct your children in the principles of our holy faith as contained in the scriptures, to pray with them and for them, and to bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, do you? And the congregation also has 